My fellow Alaska Americans, thank you for coming. It is with a heavy heart and soaring wings that I announce today that I will not be seeking a second term as governor for the great state of Alaska. More triumphantly still, I wish to further announce that I will be resigning at the end of the month from my post as governor of the great state of Alaska. I would like to immediately and powerfully pounce on any misinterpretation of my motives like a cougar, like a sexy older bear cougar with just really great legs. My critics will likely point to my actions and say that I am running away from controversy, from the critics, from the difficulties of being a lame duck governor in a state defined by staggering oil revenues when said revenues have dipped recently, running from the infamy gained by a very embarrassing turn as a vice presidential candidate, one which led me to be internationally reviled as an idiot with a really great rack. To those critics I would like to say two things. One, you're mean. And two, I'm not running away from anything. In fact, I'm running toward something, something very important. I am running toward history. The bottom line, my fellow Alaskans and non-Alaskan Americans, is that I did such a great job as your governor that I simply don't need to finish my term. I am not running from difficulties I am unable to face. No! I just got everything done really quickly, and I don't need 18 additional months to meet my goals. Public leadership is like a standardized test, and the first person to complete that test automatically gets the best mark. And today I say to you, America, my pencil is down! I have successfully answered all of the multiple choice questions of public office, and I even correctly answered the bonus question of liberty. What do Alaskans want most in the world? The answer is secession. The so-called president, if that is his real name, He's still taking the test, ladies and gentlemen. He is still trying to figure out if he should fill in A, B, C, or D. He'll probably need all four years of his term to do so. Heck and shoot. He'll probably even try to get a second term because he's just that slow. I ask you, do we as Americans really need a president who is so inefficient that he needs the maximum amount of time allowed to him under the Constitution to do his job? My critics will probably say that my quitting is a sign that my political career is dead. To that I say, only a dead fish goes downstream, as they accuse me of doing. A living fish goes upstream, boldly. And I suppose a wounded fish would kind of stay still, fighting against the current just enough to stay exactly where it is. I am not a dead fish, nor am I a motionless wounded fish, for both of those would be easily be caught by an evil democratic bear and torn into with his jagged hungry teeth of public opinion. Look at my arms! There are no teeth marks here! This is not a retreat from scandal. No! It is a tactical withdrawal. I am going to take full advantage of the next three years to figure out the best plan for Sir America so that in 2012 I can emerge from my cave of unquestioning patriotism and pounce like the agile sensuous cougar I am on top of Barack Obama and ride him all the way to the White House. Stow your fears, America, for this is a great day. I am leaving. Thank you. Somebody's gonna get angry at the sound of all.